morning. It is a fine morning this morning. Just entering my stuff into my uh, GPS up here. What the dispatch has just informed me to do is uh, go over here to the uh, terminal. We got a terminal up here in Edmonton. And uh, we're going to be picking up an empty trailer. And he's instructed me to, uh, to go down to Calgary with it. So he said he's going to have a load offer following. So I'm assuming he's got something over there. Pretty sure that's what he's got. Usually that's what they do. They don't have a lot up here. Sometimes they do, but most of the times they don't have a whole lot up here. So they'll do a, what they will do is uh, make us pick up an empty trailer up here at the terminal, and uh, and then send us over to Calgary because they got a lot more stuff happening in Calgary area or Madison Hat, Alberta, you know, and uh, then they'll give us a load from there. Which works with me. I get me a little bit of extra miles. That's about uh, three and a half hours, I would say, driving up to Calgary from Edmonton. So, uh, yeah, it, uh, GPS said it's 330 kilometers or something like that from where I'm at right now. So, here we go. We'll go over to our terminal here in Edmonton. We'll go pick up that empty trailer and then. Uh, We'll make our way down to Calgary. We'll see what we get from there. Hopefully you'll have a load there ready when I get there. Hopefully there's gonna be a load at the terminal that I can just switch trailers and uh, make my way down back home, back to Steinbeck. I told them that I would like to go back to Steinbeck from here, from this area. I don't wanna go west right now. Especially into Vancouver, British Columbia because then I got to go through the Rocky Mountains and it's a dangerous time of the year right now they've had a lot of avalanches up there lately I've just been shut down quite a few times lately and all that stuff so uh, you know that's the last thing I need is go into an area where there's a high avalanche danger and get myself into trouble you know is, uh, my friend was just down there uh, two weeks ago or I guess a little bit over a week ago I guess and he got stuck there for quite a bit of time and, and they're still saying that there's high avalanche dangers up there so I don't really want to do that I don't want to take that risk and uh, plus I am low on hours I don't really have a whole lot of hours on my logbook left. Turn so, right on. I'd much rather go back home and uh, take a reset. And, uh, hopefully I can go back in the United States, you know. But, uh, yeah, so uh, that's about mid-morning right now. Well, that's usually what happens if you get here on the Sunday. There's not much happening up here. It's really slippery right now. Trying to get get out of this parking lot here. It's pretty slippery, especially if you don't have a load on. Looks like everybody wants to turn in this lane here now too. <laughs> 170 Street. Oh well, that's all right. I guess we will go continue on and uh, go pick up our trailer, and then uh, we'll be back later. Picked up our trailer. Now we are going to go have some fun, go over to Calgary, but the roads are really, really slippery and I don't know what the heck this guy up ahead of me here doing, is doing, he's, he's going so slow like an old grandma, well I guess I shouldn't complain, but better safe than sorry I guess, but he's riding really slow, super slow. Going to go by the bypass here around Edmonton. 
on uh, 216. I'm going to go south uh, up to Highway 2 and then uh, we will be on the stretch that takes us to Calgary. We just finished dropping our trailer here in the Calgary Terminal and we got instructed to bobtail over to a different customer uh, here in Calgary as well about 15 kilometers away from where we are right now and uh, we are to pick up a preloaded trailer up there and that load is going to uh, Regina so we are going to do that deliver that there tomorrow and then dispatch told me we are most likely to uh, pick up an empty trailer Drop over there Five and go over to Yorkton pick up a preloaded trailer up there and go back home so we'll see what kind of plans are actually going to fall through but for right now that's what we will be doing so let's go ahead and do that and then we'll be back okay our day has officially come to an end I ended up uh, getting to Calgary and I got me a reload out of there and uh, they said that that load was supposed to be ready at uh, 1 Alberta time and I got there at 2 o'clock because I had to drive down from Edmonton right and so uh, that load ended up not being ready and I ended up sitting there till five o'clock their time till that load was ready. So uh, and then I was just about to hit the record button and then my wife called me and then I was talking to my wife for quite a bit and then uh, by the time I got hung up with her, uh, it was dark. So then I didn't want to film anything after that, but hey, you know, that just goes to show you sometimes you get out there and Things aren't the way you expect them to be, right? At least that's what, uh, the way it's been for me today. I go to the customer and the load is not ready and this load is supposed to be in the Regina tomorrow between 9.30 and 10.30. That is Manitoba time, which is an hour different from Alberta time. So, uh, <sighs> I actually kind of lose an hour. So, uh, because of the time change, so uh, I don't think that that is going to happen. And I even told the dispatch this afternoon or almost in the evening there when uh, just before I left, and I told him, I said, uh, I don't think that this is going to happen, but hey, we'll give it our best shot, right? So, uh, here I am, I am finished for the day. Uh, it's already 10.30 at night, Manitoba time, and I'm ready to go to bed. So with that, we will see you tomorrow again at 5 a.m. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, share the video, and also hit that subscribe button, and we will see you again.